Ramadan. <laughs> oh my God! Are you kidding me? R129, dude. Oh my God. Bro, this thing is so clean, so preserved. Oh my God, look at it. That's so clean. They take care of this baby, 325i. So that's gotta be 94, 95 model. I am amazed, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so clean. Anything, oh my goodness. We gotta leave a note on his, uh, on his uh, car. Well, I actually have a pen too. Yeah. I think I can give you my business cards. So yeah. What are you saying right now? What are you gonna say? Oh no, we have to use the cardboard piece to make yeah, an. I have a pen. No. Oh, nice, have, nice. Uh, <laughs> like, I was gonna tear part of this. I don't know. We gotta figure it out. Got a note right here. About to put it here on the windshield. Like that. Chuk Antonio, what are you looking for? You're gonna change the, the nut? This nut is right there, right there. <laughs> You're friends in your what? Nahui, давай, наливай. Put the nut on and then your shifter and the cardboard on top. Chua, chua. A few moments later. How many months she hasn't run? Uh, a couple of weeks, to be honest. Oh, a couple of weeks? Yeah, yeah. roughly. I would say like, I think two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah. The back ones. Me too, bro. And it, it looks, looks really good. And, uh, Those exhaust tips are like, just on point, you know? Just perfect. How do you feel? What's your opinion on the oval tips? Because it came with an oval tip. I don't usually like them. Uh, I, the, I think in, this perfect. one, this one is, these are just perfect. Yeah, the, these two, two like the dual ones. Yeah. So when I did the trans uh, uh -huh. swap, I did a lot of other stuff too with mm -hmm. it that like I didn't really mention. I did. Um, what else did you do? So you said you, you changed the trans last summer, right? Be Actually, to this, a winter. This, this winter. This winter? Oh, winter. this past winter. Okay. Yeah, I did it with. Um, Joseph. Joseph, uh-huh. And uh, Leo helped with um, with the center support. Okay. He, he, uh -huh. he recently did like a couple of them back yep. to back. Like, yeah. A couple of uh, E34, so new center support, um, new water pump, obviously new fluids. Um, I put a uh, different clutch. Mm -hmm. I put a lightweight clutch, uh, heavy duty, uh, stage one, mm -hmm. unsprung clutch with a super light flywheel. And it normally comes a uh, single mass, by the way. It normally comes with a dual mass. So it revs up a lot quicker, um, gets up to speed a lot quicker. Um, I also did the E60 545 shifter upgrade, so it's a short throw. Super nice. I replaced a bunch of little bushings on the uh, trans, uh, like, linkage. He did a like lot that. of work to this car. Yeah, yeah. Every single thing. I did a new fuel pump and a new fuel filter. Amazing. Um, which my fuel pump probably hates me right now because my gas light's on. <laughs> what, was the, what was the reason of you replacing the transmission? So I bought the car almost like nine years ago, now ten years ago. Ten and ever years. since then, fourth gear uh, has been bad. I don't know if it's a synchro 
Luckily, it has never gotten worse. I've put about yeah. like 50,000 miles on the car in the, in yeah. the you know, ownership. Um, and it's never gotten worse. But, you know, you go first, second, third. From third to fourth, it doesn't just go straight in. You got to like tap fourth, go back to neutral, and then it goes in. No it's really a uh, weird it, issue, yeah. So thankfully, it never got worse. I never lost yeah. fourth gear yeah. permanently throughout the year. But you got a good trans on it right now, which Went is the most important. 20-hour drive. Yeah, that's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah, that's definitely it. amazing. And uh, did you save actually the old trans in case you need like parts or something? Oh yeah, it's right there. That's awesome. Let's see. Yeah, that's that's where she is. That's the old tranny right there. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. But yeah, I'm just uh, really proud of the owner of this car, Antonio. He, he's had it for a long time. This car is, has so much history behind uh, everything. You know, repairs, uh, you know, enjoyment, drivability, and all that. I mean, it's it's uh, really amazing sick car and uh it just looks perfect with the wheel fitment and everything on it right now and that heck blend right there looks really good on it too gives it a character thanks yeah. to the man himself <laughs> thanks to the camera Behind man the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah anytime man but yeah you know we're gonna be doing more work on it and he will be working on it some more there's there's what are the future plans from this car antonio do you have the any future, future plans the future plans are as we discussed actually earlier specifically about the interior um i want to fully redo the interior i yeah. want to see and experience this car how it was brand new when it was brand, brand new, new in the 1991 if you look yeah at, like the actual dash you know it looks white you know what i mean i want yeah. that to look like that. yeah exactly so the seats are pretty bad and everything but this is eventually sooner or later it's gonna get all replaced fixed up and it's gonna look just amazing that i was gonna have to drop the whole tank Okay. Right? Uh -huh. And I was not looking forward to taking off 30-year-old right. gas straps. Right, 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 right. So what I did, genius. Genius. He's genius. a genius, guys. He is. He said that good. Come so off, come off. I put <laughs> this guy in here. Oh, yeah. Clamped it. Uh -huh. I put the new hose on here, clamped it. Nice. I went under the car, undid this from the fuel pump mm -hmm. or fuel filter. Mm -hmm. I just dragged it out. Nice. That is the brightest <laughs> idea. Yeah. I didn't even drop the tank. I mean, when you work on cars, you got to improvise a lot on a lot of things, you know, just depending on the circumstances and all that. But anyways, Antonio, so you did a lot of work on this car. What about this hood right there? Are you going to eventually, it's got your spare hood. Yeah. So you're probably going to eventually end up installing it onto this amazing machine, right? Yes, this yeah. one is off that uh, 525 mm -hmm. that we just talked about that I, I gave to, uh, uh, that Leo gave to Wrecker, Leo yeah. put the motor off of. Yep. This hood is immaculate. Amazing. No dents, no nothing. Great, amazing. I also got two fenders. That's awesome. Brand new, wrapped up in my crawl space right now. Oh, so amazing. Decide, yeah, he's got brand new fenders. Yeah. It's yeah. slowly but surely, it's going to be coming back to life. And he's got a like a rich history with this car, almost 10 years. It's, it's insane, honestly. Like it's, you know, you don't see people nowadays owning a car for this long you know usually people even with brand new cars usually people buy those cars hold on to them for what two three years and then they just like trade them in or like get rid of them or something yeah buy another one it's crazy but this thing is awesome you gotta show them under the hood under the hood of course pour up the hood please let's look at that hood pop oh you can't reach it probably huh no yeah <laughs> i put the window down so i can just yeah. You know, parking's a little tight. It's okay. Especially when... When you're, uh, yes. <laughs> and schmuff, look at that. It just slides right out. Look at that amazing engine. That looks really clean. Yeah, man. Didn't Those you, are... yeah, did you paint, did you paint this with, um, like, high heat paint? So the thing is, it's not painted. It's not, he right? just cleaned it with uh, oh, iodine, okay. iodine. Okay. He's got uh, like an like a iron brush that uh, is connected to a hose that spits out mm -hmm. the fluid. And it makes all this literally brand yeah. new. Uh, I'm not sure if he actually sprayed it with something. I don't think he did. Yeah. Because this is what it looks like under all the dirt and grime. It looks amazing. This looks like brand new stuff, guys. Look at that intake manifold and everything. Valve cover. What was the engine work that you did, Antonio, to it? I mean, obviously you had the intake manifold out, I guess, right? Or no, you had the... Yeah, um, I took the intake manifold out because I, I originally knew that this was going to be a long winter project. Yeah. So I wanted to do something that I never really have done before and like take my time since I have a garage. This mm -hmm. is the first time that I ever had a garage. Yeah. So I was like, I want everything to be clean. I want to put new gaskets on everything. Everything has a new gasket here. Valve new cover, gaskets, yeah. set housing cover. Yeah. Uh, it's no, this looks super gasket. clean. Uh, oil filter housing gasket because they're always wet. Yeah. The oil filter yeah. housing clean yeah. too. Yeah. 
I just want to do tidying Exactly, up. just detailing that. Yeah. That's what matters. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Looks like you forgot some pliers over here. Those are the pliers. Uh, there you go. Uh, oh, really? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Those are the ones like, you were trying to look for. Yeah. Like perfect. That's funny. That's hilarious. That's awesome. Long uh, working progress. Long working progress. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh huh. Convert this to cable throttle. Cable throttle, yeah, because right now it's a electronic throttle with the EML system. So yeah. If you can imagine, 30 years old. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. And right now, as you can see, the fan clutch is missing. That's because uh, he said it's making a noise, and eventually he's either gonna install it back on or whatever. But the car is usually just sits here in the garage, so he's it's not gonna like get overheated or anything like that. So. Plus, it's winter time. That E34, amazing. It's so many memories with this car. Yeah, man. Seriously. Yeah. Like they all just flash by when you're yeah. in the car again. Yeah. Feel how close the like gears are, like. Oh like yeah. In the fourth. Oh yeah, it is. Put it in the fourth. Fourth? Yeah. Just went straight, straight. Down. Oh yeah. Like you see how close they are? Uh huh. It's crazy. That's cool though. Did you ever like? Did you rebuild the shifter on it or no? Uh did yes. The, there's there? only one. Um, I don't know if it's like in the trans but there's there, there's one bushing for the like center uh -huh, one uh -huh. i changed like this one the main uh -huh. one and i changed the ones on the uh selector rod yep. on both ends yeah but i don't know what's what else, what else i'm missing to get away from this okay you know? we'll have to look at the schematic of the of the the exploded mm -hmm. view to see what's what bushings are involved in this What the heck? This looks like a garage door opener. But look, I hit close and the exhaust is gonna change the sound. Again. Now it's quiet. That's crazy. When did you install that? <laughs> you crazy ass fool! <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Ago, okay, that's crazy. Let's try it again. That's so cool. Open. That is so sick, man. I can't believe you installed it's that. Nice that is so cool. <laughs> you know, imagine. The light yeah, you imagine like, cop pulls you over, like, oh, you have a loud exhaust. Literally. Excuse me, sir? It's not loud. What are you talking about? It's all quiet. <laughs> That's it. That is so sick, man. Right? Oh, it's my awesome. God. Well, we took this amazing machine for a test drive. It was great. And now she's going back into the garage to rest. So this is the custom air intake right here. Yeah, it's not really the light delete. It's kind of the light delete, but very, very custom.